foot in there. Woo! Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> All I want in this whole life a little red house in a country wife, a picnic table out on the lawn, a couple of kids and a couple of dogs. Work all day to half past five. watch our channel for a while you know that we grow our own medicine these are CBD plants and I came out to check them out and I saw something really amazing on these plants so I want to show you what they look like a few years ago we bought some ladybugs um, to you know help with bug control around here and so we've got ladybugs, as you can see right in here. There's a ladybug. There's a larva up here. I don't know if you can see. Right underneath that leaf right there. That's a ladybug larva. I'll get you a better picture. That one's a little too far away, and I don't want to knock stuff down. But it goes from eggs to larva to pupa to a small uh, or a young ladybug and then to an adult ladybug. Now this is a pupa. This is a pupa. It's a shell. Oops, see I don't want to lose it. It's a shell of a ladybug, but that's the pupa. I don't think there's actually, there might, uh, I don't think so. I think the ladybug's out. It actually might be the one that's crawling around there. That might be the one in there. Um, but we have all these different things. I haven't seen any um, eggs yet. Okay, let's see if I can get a good picture of this larva. There you go. That's a ladybug larva. So if you see those on your plants, don't kill them. Those are going to turn into the pupa. And then into a young ladybug. Oh, I see a grasshopper in here too. He's hiding. There's one right there. A grasshopper. So I don't know why, I don't know why I find that fascinating. Um, when you can, I guess it's just because you can see all the different stages besides the eggs, obviously. But that's just amazing that you know that they're, they're actually doing their job. I released about 500 of them a few years ago in the garden and they all disappeared within a few weeks and I was like, oh, well, that was kind of a dud, but it actually wasn't a dud. They went off and laid eggs, 
they died, their eggs have hatched. We've been seeing them the past year or so, this year even more, so it's pretty amazing. So I'm just gonna give you an update on the garden. Um, this is, you'd never know it, but this is my onion bed. Um, we were sick the end of April into May for two weeks with that special, uh, special sickness that was going around here and it still is going around and uh, the first time we were ever sick with it and we were down for two weeks sick uh, you know not doing well and then after that we were very slow to get going and no energy so uh, when it was time to plant I was not interested whatsoever in planting anything um, my granddaughter loves cherry tomatoes, so I did, uh, I bought a four pack of cherry tomatoes, which I'm going to pick a few of those today. Looks like there's a few ready. My sister-in-law gave us some, um, glads, gladiolas, and those are, I just plucked them in here just cause, uh, the only thing that I can really go grow really well this year is grass. The grass is nuts. Um, so I have the glads in here. I just popped them in there and hoping that they'll blossom for the hummingbirds and all that. So I have not planted a lot. So four cherry tomatoes. I got some yellow onions over here and I did some white onions here. Something came through and just walked through it. I don't know what happened, but I came out and I started to um, spoon, they call it, around my onions, which is where you go around the bulb of your onion, and you do this, and you kind of loosen up around it so the onion can get bigger. And so I just see this one I've done, but it's already fallen over, so I don't know if it's because of all the rain. Uh, things just don't want to grow here. This is a nice, good-sized white onion. This one is still standing up. So yeah, I just spoon around them. They call it spooning, but I just use my finger. But you can use a spoon whatever you want. And the chickens are gonna be pains. Yeah. But yeah, we've got a few little white onions. Not many. But yeah, they just go around. Look out, spider. They just go around and do that. And it just gives them more room to grow. Some of these aren't gonna do anything, but. Ugh. And the weeds, the weeds are crazy. I come out and weed and it rains and then they grow right back. It's a pain in the butt. I did pull a few of these yellow onions, number one, cause I'm out in the house and they're falling over. And some of them are good sized. I like that one right there. They're ready because they're falling over. Once the once the net gets soft like that, typically they're done. See this one's still up nice and hard, nice and tight. Um, but this one's falling over, so it's probably done. So we'll just pull that out. I'm just gonna put it in my basket here. I'm gonna take it out into the uh, greenhouse and let them cure for a little bit. What's this one? Yep, there's another one here. They're just so wet. Just so wet. Uh, I, the ones that I pulled out over here earlier were slimy. Um, this one's not very big. Uh, that one's not very big. Um, but there's some big ones in here. Like this one's good, pretty good sized. That one's pretty good. We've got some... We've got some big ones, but how would you know in all this mess? This is ridiculous. I weed and like I said, it rains and it just comes back. Um, oh yeah, there's a, there's a good sized onion right there. Look at that guy. Wow, that's a good sized one. Um, yeah, <laughs> I get a lot to do with this bed. Okay, 
so these are the ones I did this morning earlier and these are the ones I just did cleaning the onion bed it's really so weedy I really shouldn't even be pulling the weeds because they're pulling out some of the some of the onions like this one this one was not completely ready I mean it should be yellowing stalks and it's not um, but it's pretty good sized so I'm not gonna get too crazy about it let's see there's some of these like this one's yellow definitely ready some of these weren't and as I weed I'm getting again pulling them up because the weeds are so damn thick it's ridiculous so I'm just putting them on this little this is a cage, an animal cage and I figure because it gets air can get air all the way around I'm just sticking them on to this cage oh you can smell the onion Oh, it smells good. And uh, we're gonna let those cure dry up a little bit. And then I'll, I'll clean them. See, that one's just too tiny. But it's so wet that it just rotted. They actually made it. This is the a sign of a happy woman right here. Well, some. Some like the manicure and all that, which is fine. But uh, that's a sign of a happy woman that she can get in her garden. And this shows you how freaking wet it is. It's just mud, mud. But uh, yeah, not not wonderful weather. But and even today, it's cloudy and threatening rain again. So that figures. So that's what I got weeded piles I've got to get rid of um but yeah see as I was weeding it I was loosening those up so I don't know if that's good or not but there some of them are pretty good sized so this bed is weeded and I won't have to do it again I don't think before I um harvest these onions so question is what am I going to do with these garden beds now that they're all grown in with grass my plan is to tarp the big bed over here I'm going to tarp it cover it up kill all the grass over the winter the smaller beds I think I can take um, cardboard I have a bunch of cardboard and I can get more from the the dump if I need it and uh, just lay them on here weight them down and I think through the winter it should kill the grass and then by next spring I should be able to uh, plant in these I'm hoping the good thing about not planting um, in all these beds is that it gives them a rest they get a rest from planting Sometimes they need that. This one here, put my basket down. This one is my original bed that we had when we first got here. I took some, just some boards that we had and, and put them together and made that cute little square and planted in that. And I had the in-ground, I call it the in-ground because it's not that very much raised, but it is right now because we just put soil in there in the spring, but it's basically an in-ground I used to put last year I had potatoes in there this year nothing uh, the year before that was corn I believe so I haven't done much of a garden this year um, but I'm definitely using my farmers markets they're putting a lot of work into uh, growing food and it's good local food and uh, I've already got some corn oh yeah I did. I got some corn. I'll show you guys what Katie and I went and did. Oh, I got some corn. Let's put them in a the bag. Go ahead, put them right in there. Whoops. We gotta count them too. Drop 
dropping it. Six. One more. Ten. I think we're gonna get twelve because it said a dozen, so we need two more. Yeah, let's get some coal. Put those in the bag. That's twelve. Twelve. Yep. Get it done, we can just pop it in that bag. Okay. I'm halfway done with this thing. Oh, good job. I cut mm -hmm. all the corn yeah. off, and we're gonna. What are we gonna do? Um, we're gonna throw them where the chickens are. Yeah, we're gonna let the chickens have a treat. What are you doing? 